Greetings YouTube watchers. I uh, hope you're having a great afternoon. Um, I wanted to address an issue that the Linux cast had in his video um, with Qtile and the bar. Um, he was talking about the widgets and how there's so many built-in widgets you can use but that he was pretty sure there wasn't a way to run a bash script as a widget and to display the output of a bash script. Well, Matt, you're a great guy and I'm going to hopefully help you out here. Um, which is kind of a strange turn of events, but um, let's see what we can do, all right? Um, if we look right up here in my bar, I have this widget right here. And if it's, I know it's gonna be hard to see on your screen, but it's basically the YouTube symbol, and then it says 1.9K. And what that is, is that's a bash script I have that pulls my YouTube subscriber count and displays it up there for me because, you know, I'm a glutton for punishment. I watch that number hover at about the same thing and dream of when it actually grows. So, side note, if you are new to the channel or just watching for the first time and you're not a subscriber, if you like what I do, please help me move this number right here. Um, subscribe, like, share, comment, whatever you gotta do, hit that notification bell, it's greatly appreciated. Um, I'd really like to see my channel grow. Um, I really hope I'm helping people out. And um, yeah, so if, if, if you can and you feel up to it, please uh, give me a like. So that being said, now the sales pitch is over. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> um, back to the widgets. Uh, so basically I have my YouTube subscription script that runs and prints out right here. Well, Matt, you are correct. When it comes to um, Qtile, you do have to at least understand a little bit about Qt or a little bit about Python. Um, I know enough to get me in trouble. I would not say I know Python. I would not say I am a beginner at Python. I wouldn't even say I'm a novice at Python. I can grasp a little bit of Python and I know a little bit about Python, but I am not a Python aficionado by any means or any shape of the word but I do know a few things, like I said, enough to get me in trouble. And what I did was, if we go ahead and launch a browser here, and we go to Qtile, if I could type, .org. Once we're in Qtile.org, we're gonna click on the documentation tab. And over here, we are going to go to the built-in widgets. And on a side note, I'm just gonna say, I am a huge fan of Qtile's documentation. Um, I know I said this in the other video, but it has got some of the best documentation I have seen on any program out there. Um, it is a little bit technical, as Matt said, but like I said, if you actually just read through it a little bit, um, it might take one or two times reading through, but Python is one of those languages, I'm not going to say that it's easy, because that's not, um, not the case, at least not for me, but it is one that is easier to look at and understand. Like, okay, I might not know Python, but I know I can look at this and read it and make sense of it. So once you do that a couple times, you kind of get a feel for what is actually going on. And so, um, if you look over here, we've got all these built-in widgets. Well, this whole bar is made up of widgets. Everything on it is a widget, from the writing, from the text, to the images, to the space in between. Everything is a widget. And that's how you build the bar in Qtile, is you just string together some widgets, and they display up at the top of the, of the screen, or at the bottom of the screen, depending on where you want it, um, and they make your bar. And most of the stuff is built in. Um, your Bluetooth, CPU, uh, your clock, your clipboard, um, images, uh, mail directories, Gmail, all kinds of stuff on here is already ready to go for you. All you gotta do is uh, add the widget to your config file, put in the variables you want or the keys that you want, and you're good to go. Um, but there isn't one that specifically says it's for running bash scripts. Well, what I've found, and there might be a better way to do this, so if you know a better way to do this, please let me know, let Matt know, let whoever know, but please share. Um, I used the gen poll text widget. Um, now, what the gen poll text widget is, is just a generic text widget. Um, so I just kind of went down through and I literally read every single one of the widgets. I couldn't tell you what they all do because I didn't memorize all of them, but I did find this one that said a generic text widget. Um, and what it does is it pulls using a poll function to get text. Well, what's my bash script for my YouTube subs output? Well, it outputs text. So I thought that's got to work. And so I added this function or this widget to my bar and I added the background colors and stuff like that. And the one thing in the format and the one thing that got me though was this function right here, this FUNC. And because it by default there isn't one. So I kind of got to thinking, and like I said, I know a little bit about Python, um, not a lot, but I know a little bit, and I found that. 
there's a function out there that I recalled that uh, we could I thought I could probably use and what it is is it's called subprocess check output and what that does is it Python runs a subprocess, which in this case would be our bash script, and I might be explaining this wrong. This is my understanding of it, so again, correct me if I'm wrong on this. But there will be a subprocess running that Python's that Python's watching, and what it does is it checks the output of that subprocess. So it should take my bash script, run it as a subprocess, and check the output of it. Correct? Well, let's go to my second workspace here. Let's launch a terminal. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit here, and let's cd into Qtile. And if I do an ls, you can see I got my config.py right here. So let's vim into config.py. Let's close nerd tree. And let's go ahead and search for widgets. And there they are. So if we scroll down here, now we're going to go down, and we're going to go down, and we're going to find that gen pull text widget. So right here, you can see I've got widget gen pull text. So, what I did was I added that widget, widget.genpolltext, and then in between the parentheses, I added a name, which is yt subs. That's just what I decided to call it. That's the name of my script. So, um, well, it's yt subs.sh, but I named it yt subs. And then I have the format. The format I have equal to the YouTube logo. And then the curly braces here. If we look right on here on the format section, it's basically going to just this the squirrely braces are the default and it's going to format the string that's output. So it's just going to print it out exactly how it's output from the subprocess. So, I have the format of the YouTube logo and then the output of my script. I have it updating every 3600 seconds, so basically every hour. Um, I have the foreground color of 1 and the background color of 7, which if we went up to the top um, you'll see I have an array here with different colors into it, and I can just call those colors in my bar. But so we've got that um, the foreground color and the background color. And then right here is that function, that FUNC that got me for a while. But basically, if we equal that to lambda, and then we have a colon, and then we do subprocess.check underscore output. So subprocess check output. That's that function I was telling you about. And after that, we put in parentheses, we put parentheses and double quotes, the path to our script we want to run. And then after that, we do dot decode UTF-8. And then we add padding if we want. You don't have to add padding, but we do. And basically, that right there runs this script right here and prints the output. Now, um, you can see, obviously, my home, Jake, if I open up a um, scratch pad here and I type yt subs.sh, it's going to take a second here, but you can see the output is 1.9K, just like it is up here in the bar. So I knew that that function would probably work. So basically, like I said, Qtile's documentation is spectacular. So what I did is I just scrolled up here and I typed in subprocess dot check underscore output. And we hit enter, and you can see right here, I got subprocess check output, and it's in the source code for the widget base. So I clicked on that, and then I had to scroll down a bit, but once we got in here, I scrolled down, and you can see right here, subprocess.check output, and it says this method uses subprocess.check output to run a given command and return the string from standard out. So basically, that's what my script is doing. It's returning output from standard out, and this is just basically taking it and reading it and reading it out to my bar. So since I knew about this function right here, and I was able to locate it in Qtile's documentation, I thought this has definitely got to work. So that's what we did. So right here, I've got function lambda colon subprocess dot check underscore output path to my script decode UTF-8 and then padding equals zero. The padding is neither here nor there, but and that puts down here. But let's go ahead and put this to the test. So let me go ahead and we are going to make a script here and we're going to vim and we're going to call it wg.sh for widget.sh I guess. And let's get rid of nerd tree again and we're going to go into insert mode and we're going to create a shebang. And then in here we are going to do let's just do a variable we'll call it num equals and we'll say 23. And then we will 
printf num. And that'll be our script. So let's write and quit. Maybe. Okay, there we go. And we're going to ch mode plus x, and we'll say wg.sh. So now if we do wg.sh, now we see we print that number 23. So let's go ahead and change the path here to that script, and we can see how it actually works. So we're going to come all the way down here, and we are going to go into insert mode. We're going to erase this, and we're going to say wg.sh, and we're going to write. So now that script is in home jake wg.sh. So ideally, what should happen here when I refresh my configuration file is this should change from 1.9k to reading 23. So let's go ahead and press my mod control R, which will reload my configuration file. And it didn't work. Did we write? Oh, we didn't write, did we? So let's write. There we go. Now let's reload the file. And there we go. You can see we ha now have the U YouTube logo, but now we have 23 because that's the output of the other script. So again, if you use the widget.genpool text, and then in the parentheses, you're going to have a name and then the format and then the foreground colors and background colors. And then you have to use this right here. This function equals lambda colon subprocess dot check underscore output. And then put the path to your script and then decode UTF-8. And you should be able to print the output of your script right there in your widget bar. So Matt, I hope this helps. And I hope you uh, can get your bar figured out. And I hope you enjoy using Qtile for this week. Um, I look forward to re or, uh, watching your final review on it. Um, I'm going to be doing one as well, but you know, well, since you're head and shoulders above me, um, my video probably won't do nearly as well as yours. So good luck to you, sir. And I hope you have a great, uh, great and enjoyable time in Qtile. It is a great window manager. Um, it's probably broken my top five favorite now. Um, and so it's not up there in the top three yet, but it is a good window manager. Um, side note, if you are a fan of Spectre window manager or Spectre WM, I am building Spectre right now and configuring it, and after I'm done with my Qtile videos, I will be doing a series on Spectre um, because that is one of my favorites. Um, I didn't use it for very long or, for, or very much, but it is a great window manager. I'm thoroughly enjoying it and playing around in it. So yeah, again, if you like Spectre, be on the lookout. I've got some videos coming out on that uh, real soon. So that being said, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day and a great evening. And I hope this video helps you get your uh, bar set up how you want it and helps you understand how to run a script in your Qtile bar on widgets. So yeah, have a great evening and God bless.